What is amazing to me is that George W. Bush has the mental capacity to moralize about anything. Honestly, like, I think that it would be a fascinating experiment to sort of like replace his forehead with like a, just some plexiglass and to put in like, you know, one of those like bariums or something to see how his brain's firing when he has the ability to talk about um, the suffering of women and children in a foreign land. Here he is on, uh, on uh, German television talking about- I was about very pleased. You understand, uh, uh, talking about the pullout of American forces from Afghanistan. Yeah. I was very pleased. Uh, she was supportive of troops in Afghanistan. Um, by the way, and, and one of the reasons why uh, is because she saw the, uh, the progress that could be made for young girls and women in Afghanistan. It's unbelievable how that society changed from the brutality of the Taliban. And now all of a sudden, you know, sadly, uh, I'm afraid Afghan women and girls are going to suffer unspeakable harm. Is it a mistake, the withdrawal? I, you know, I think it is, yeah. I think because I think the consequences are going to be unbelievably bad. And uh, I'm sad. And we, I spend, Laura and I spend a lot of time with Afghan women, and, uh, <laughs> uh, and they're scared. And I think about all the interpreters and people that helped not only U.S. troops, but NATO troops. And they're just... It seems like they're just going to be left behind to be slaughtered by these very brutal people. And uh, it breaks my heart. Yeah, you know what's just as the same as being slaughtered by brutal people is being slaughtered by brutal Americans. First off, supposedly uh, the Biden administration has offered uh, 2,500 visas for all those folks and that they haven't even been all taken up. Put that aside. Um the, the idea that this guy who's responsible for hundreds of thousands of innocent Iraqis dying, hundreds of thousands, by the most conservative estimates, by our own government's Defense Department estimates, hundreds of thousands of Iraqi civilians, by others, it ranges from several hundred thousands to a million Iraqi civilians killed as a function of that war of choice. Two million internal refugees, two million external refugees. The idea that this guy has the audacity to moralize in public about the suffering of other people <laughs> um, as a function of U.S. policy is... I, I don't think there's a better uh, case that uh, to be president, you need to be a sociopath. He should have to, if he wants to express anything about politics, he should have to do it in the form of a painting, I think. Exactly. The idea that you can sit there and say, like, I really worry about the Afghan women. Re really, really. Man, you should have met some Iraqis before uh, you decided to uh, invade and occupy that country. Or Afghanis. I'm sorry. They... Uh, they Rumsfeld and the Bush administration very early on in the Afghan war were met with a proposition to have some sort of truce and they chose to continue to wage that war because they were seeing red and seeing opportunities after 9-11 and our foreign policy at that time was essentially just rageful uh, lashing out and you know who was hurt in those rageful lashing out moments were many, many women and girls. It's also just like this incredibly paternalistic, I, 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 honestly, like racist perspective that has no context, uh, uh, I, you know. I, I look, I, I, I actually think the, the, he, he's right. The, the fact of the matter is, is that our pullout, the Taliban is probably going to take back over that country. And it is going to be horrible for women and, 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 and girls there. I mean, it, it, there's no, he's correct about that. They're going to, you're not going to be, you know, and, and it'll be even worse if they get control of Kabul. Women are, uh, have had the ability, uh, girls have had the ability to go to school. They will not have the ability to go to school once the Taliban is back in power. 
I mean, this is this is this is true. Women are going to lose rights um, in Afghanistan. All of that is true. Everything he was saying was true, except for he does not have a right to deploy that in service of a continued occupation uh, of that country by American troops. And he does not have a right. I mean, it is it's it is simply the fact. I understand it's a fact, but I mean, that's not it was never at the top of the line of justifications that he gave at the time. Or I mean, yeah, they use that sometimes, that, but, but they had the ability to set up a government where they the Taliban was a lot more diminished and they chose not to do that. They chose to charge forward with the occupation and with military force. And so this is what happens. There's, you're not going to win a war in a foreign country where it's not the objective isn't necessarily um, laid out accurately or clear. And this is what happens, right? And so, of course, um, I, I, to me, it's just like that he, he has got nothing to say in terms of how relatively in the United States, women are treated, I mean, uh, gay people, he ran on basically right. violating their rights. So it's just this like flimsy excuse um, to to work backwards from like, actually my war crimes weren't that bad. Um, right, and right. the consequences of me not committing those war crimes would be really bad because you know, I'm a feminist, please dude, spare me. Folks, there's more of what you've just saw where that came from. That's if you hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you. Really, thank you.